When you start using Blender for the very first time, the interface can seem quite daunting. If you click on an object in the way that you're used to, that is, with the left mouse button, nothing happens except that a mysterious little circle is positioned where you clicked. Further experimentation may lead you to discover that objects can be selected with the right mouse button, and the little circle is the cursor used for positioning of new objects and for snapping operations. But how do you navigate the viewport? How do you rotate and pan the view? That, as you probably know by now, is done with the middle mouse button, which in most computer mice is also the scroll wheel. As you start playing with the application, you may be forgiven for thinking the situation is not ideal. If you don't have a separate middle mouse button for clicking, and you're pressing and holding the wheel, then it's all too easy to scroll the wheel inadvertently and zoom the view. And on some mice, the wheel clicking action may be too stiff for comfortable use. Laptop owners may not have a middle mouse button at all. Thankfully, Blender offers some preference settings to help. The mouse button to be used for selection can be set to the left mouse button, and middle mouse button navigation can be changed to alt left mouse button usage by switching on the emulate 3 button mouse setting. This feature is only available if the right mouse button is set as the select button. That means that if you prefer to select with the left mouse button and want to avoid using the middle mouse button for navigation, you're out of luck. A safe, elegant and effective solution is possible with the help of a Blender add-on. We take advantage of the fact that Blender allows add-ons, that is, plugins written in the Python scripting language, to declare keyboard and mousing shortcuts in addition to those set up with the key configuration you're using. An add-on can therefore be offered to provide additional mousing commands, enabling viewport navigation without the middle mouse button. The beauty of the solution is that you can continue using the same key configuration you have, even if you have customized it. The add-on makes no changes to your key configuration, but offers its functionality on top of it. So let's get to it, it is quite simple. Download the BVP No MMB Navigation add-on file from the page linked to in the description of this video. Once the file is on your hard drive, go to the add-ons panel in User Preferences. Click Install from File, select the add-on file, and click Install from File button. Once the file is loaded in Blender, enable the add-on by clicking the box on its right. Press the Save User Settings button to save your preferences. Note that Blender will have made a copy of the add-on file to its own configuration folder, so the file you downloaded is no longer needed, it can be deleted. Also note that the procedure for disabling the add-on is to untick the box on its right and click the Save User Settings button. Of course, we don't want to do that now. In the Input panel, choose the mouse button to select with. As far as the add-on is concerned, this can be either the left or the right button. We're going to proceed on the assumption you prefer to select with the left. Click the Save User Settings button again and close the Preferences window. Now you can rotate the view by clicking and dragging the right mouse button. You can pan the view with Alt right mouse button, that is, press the Alt key on the keyboard as you click and drag the right mouse button, and you can zoom the view with Alt Control right mouse button. To place the cursor in 3D view, press shift Control right mouse button. In other windows, such as for instance the node editor, the navigational commands are the same. Pan the view with Alt right button, 
and zoom the view with Alt Control right button. On some operating systems, you may find these mousing operations conflict with your system settings. If this is your case, you will need to change your system preferences before you can use the add-on. In the special mode of stencil painting, these mousing commands will not work because they conflict with existing commands for stencil transformations. In this case, you can make the commands work again by pressing the Win key on Windows or the Command key on Mac, in addition to Alt or Alt Control as you click and drag the right mouse button. So, Win Alt Right button to pan, Win Alt Control Right button to zoom. And likewise for the Command key on the Mac. The navigation mousing commands of this add-on do not work in Grease Pencil Continuous Drawing mode and when using the knife tool. The usual methods remain available, middle mouse button and mouse wheel shortcuts, to demonstrate by pressing a combination of Shift, Alt and Control modifier keys, you can rotate and pan the view by rotating the wheel at the same time. This is a standard Blender feature, not part of the add-on. If you don't have a wheel, then you'll need to make your cuts in stages. And that brings us to the end of the tutorial. Hey, look at that! Even Blender likes it, giving us a thumbs up surprise. Isn't that cool? OK, we're all done. I hope this tutorial has been useful. Please feel free to leave a comment and subscribe for future updates.